So I'm James Finn, I'm at King's College London, I'm Francesca Belletto's PhD student and I'm looking at anionic water clusters. Um, what I love about it I suppose would be, um... <laughs> that's a bit of a hard question. Um, I, I just love getting the results, I love being able to uh, see the results that are coming out and be able to analyse them and see the application they have. Um... And, and compare them into experimentation and hopefully you get the same results or the same results as someone else has done and, and that, that's very rewarding is, is being able to have that same results. So I went to Spain to learn a TDDFT code, um, Time Dependent Density Functional Theory, um, and spent just under a month in San Sebastian in Spain, um, which was very nice, very, very nice uh, place to go but very, very good group and, and very enjoyable um, and I learnt a lot of a lot of uh, science from it, a lot of physics, which was good. Um, so it was the TYC that gave me that opportunity to go. Okay, I am Manuela Muda. I work with Lev Kantorovic, and uh, I'm doing a self-assembling of uh, modeling of self-assembly of molecule on gold uh, one 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 surface. It's nice the the relationship, the city, the position of King's College, the people that are around also because it's smaller. Uh, department, so there is a good uh, uh, environment. Okay, this evening there is a TYC meeting uh, with uh, Van der Welle, I don't remember very well the name, he speak about the, it's a, a good, uh, <laughs> it's a, a very good researcher, he do implementation in CP2K and, uh, uh, okay, I already follow once uh, his, uh, his seminar in uh, UCL, same TYC, it was very interesting because uh, I, I, I can um, take contact with people that maybe I can only read the paper, so I know that are very famous, but I don't really know their face, so in some ways uh, it's good to take contact with the other people. So. I'm Giulia Pegolotti, I come from Italy, and uh, I'm here for doing a PhD in physics uh, and I'm working with uh, Dr. Carlo Monteni. I'm working on this connection between physics and biology, which is not very well known at the moment because you know that biological systems are very complicated, so so far there are a lot of uh, uh, approximations that have been made to treat the biological system from a physical point of view, but now with the the computers that are getting uh, uh, more and more powerful. I think that uh, from this, I don't, for this particular point of view, there are things that could uh, could uh, um, appear in the future for physics in general. <laughs> I don't know. I hope so.